Yes, and technology that helps us know what's going on outside. Mm -hmm. too, yeah, we couldn't do it, especially satellites. The weather forecasting game really changed once we introduced satellite imagery and, of course, radar imagery and all of that. But right now for the weekend forecast, 70 is going to be your overnight low temperature. So we're not going to be quite as cool. We're going to be a little bit more humid, and we are looking at temperatures in the mid-80s. Yes, there is a spotty opportunity of rain. Rain chances as of this morning look a little better Saturday late afternoon into the evening than Sunday, but still some isolated showers possible on Sunday as well. Wind a little breezy, a tiny bit stronger gust on Saturday, 25 mile per hour gust on Sunday. So here's why we get the chance of rain. We are set up in this pattern where look at the cloud coverage stretching from South Texas up into the Texas Panhandle. That has to do with high pressure and low pressure that is set up across uh, the central United States essentially high pressure over the east, low pressure. This is a cutoff low. It's essentially cut itself off from a trough higher up into the higher latitudes. And what we see with this low is an increase in moisture, especially coming off the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to come around the edge of this high pressure and then want to flow toward the low. Air flows from high to low pressure, and that's going to bring humidity and moisture back into the coastal bend. We are in this path where rain is going to be possible as the air is flowing off the the ocean and into the land. And so that keeps us with that spotty hit and miss rain. There's no exact kind of guarantee on when and where you get the rain, but that's going to continue into Sunday uh, and then taper off. It looks like as we headed to next week. Right now, it's very nice outside. It's 66 degrees. We have a little bit more cloud coverage this morning, so we're not as cool as yesterday morning, but we are looking at temperatures warming back into the 80s, very similar to yesterday. I do think we see a little bit more cloud coverage. There also is a low chance for some rain today. On top of the rain, beach conditions and anywhere near the coast, so across our bays and the Laguna Madre as well, minor coastal flooding is going to be possible. That advisory has been extended through at least Sunday morning. It may continue to be extended. That has a lot to do with the fact that we had a full moon on Thursday. Typically, especially in the spring and the fall, we get those higher tides following the full moon. And so you can anticipate that even rising tides getting a little higher Saturday and Sunday into the weekend. High tide will be in the evening. So just before six o'clock tonight, 730 just before 730 on Saturday and just after nine o'clock on Sunday evening. Waves are going to stay rough through the weekend. So if you have plans to head to the beach, you have to watch out for the rain. Remember if thunder roars head indoors and then additionally rip current risk is going to be high. So you've got to keep an eye on anyone that gets in the water, have a buddy system. Just be aware those currents will be ripping and be strong. The wind falls into the into next week, and that's one of the reasons why we see a little bit less of an opportunity of rain but our temperatures are going to go back up. We keep easterly winds out there as well. So yeah, we could be nearing 90 once again by the middle of next week.